Ray Charles, 60 Essential Recordings, and Sam Cook, The Singles, 1956-62. Both of these triple CDs were less than a fiver brand new. I got the Ray Charles one from HMV in High Wycombe. I have lumped these two together because they each represent the two types of music that came out of the late 50s and shaped the music of the 60s and everything else after that. Ray Charles fused blues and rock and roll with his seminal hit What I Say. He also made a number of other records on the Atlantic label, mostly using a 12-bar blues progression. Though his most famous song, Hit the Road Jack, is not a 12-bar blues. His early work is characterised by blues scales. Sam Cooke, on the other hand, built his songs around the kind of major chord progressions common in all kinds of pop music. The ubiquitous chord progressions that became famous in the Axis of Awesome YouTube video. Everything from Let It Be to Don't Stop Believing. With the exception of The Change Is Gonna Come, his posthumous last hit. Sam Cooke mostly made upbeat, happy records like We're Having a Party, Twisting the Night Away, Bring It On Home To Me and Cupid. His influence can be heard in the Motown soul that followed him and a song like Wonderful World has a similar lyricism to the great Smokey Robinson. There is a line of artists that employed Sam Cooke's singing style from The Drifters to Bruce Springsteen. With both acts, the recordings start to get less raw, and paradoxically, it is the later ones that sound more dated, usually with the addition of strings. Ray Charles broke away from the restraints of R&B and had hits with Georgia on my mind and I Can't Stop Loving You. But then he started making country records, and that is the point when I stopped listening. Ray Charles, 60 Essential Recordings and Sam Cooke, The Singles Collection.